Thank you kind. so much for dressing up for us today. Oh, this whole thing, I only wear this one. I don't care what I have on. But is how awkward, like, is this? We're now, like, interviewing you. I'm just sorry that I'm not just sitting out there and watching. <laughs> what am I doing here? Nope, two, we have roped so you in to well, our oh, wonderful like talk show. Uh, it's like the first day of uh, the pilot that we shot for this. Yeah. I was sitting on a bed in the motel and looked up at you two standing next to each other and I wanted to cry. It was just too sweet, the two of you. And here you are. Oh. Oh. That's what I'm here for, to make you cry. Wow. Um, <laughs> well, this is good. So how's the interview going so far? You guys are amazing. Who are you? Yeah. I don't know, actually. That's a deep question wow. that I don't have an answer to. Um, Do you Before we, oh. What? No, oh, yeah. Okay. Whatever you want. It's your show, That's too. That's good. You are the sun. <laughs> No, okay, I, I, I usually get my way because I am the elder. <laughs> but what were you going to say? What do you think? Do the dog pants sit on the back wow. half or the side of the dog? Are we I, back with I'm the dog? I'm going to go with your father on this. What? The whole topless thing. You think the topless thing. But well, they're wearing see? fur. If right, the dog wore pants, thank you. would he wear them? Okay, like fine. It's now two and two. Thank Annie's you. the deciding factor in this. Well, he has four legs. No, I'm sorry, Eugene. Uh, oh, thank he has you. four legs. It's Why, would you, want, legs. Why okay. would you want people the in the audience are also front agreeing, legs to so. suffer? Okay, listen, I'm wrong. I, I, you know, I'm actually. I, I was going to say I'm a cat person, but I'm not. Uh, the, 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 um, uh, the. When did we meet? We, we. It's been 45 years since we've known each other, and I, rem I can tell you the year that we met. What about the 72? 70 oh, 72. Yeah. Right. Yeah, I was in high school, and. <laughs> Yeah, and so but, was I. But I, I was there for 12 years. No. Um, I was in high school and you were in Godspell. And my brother was dating Gilda Radner, God bless her. And she got Robin Duke and me tickets to Godspell. And we got to hang out with you, the cast, afterwards yeah. at the restaurant. Or after. It was the most thrilling thing for Robin Duke and me. And that's where I first met you. And then you allowed me to be cast alongside you when Gilda left uh, Second City Theater. And I got to be in the theater with you. Um, I have a follow-up question to that. When you first <laughs> met him in 1972, yes. could you describe in extreme detail oh, his hairstyle? Was he wearing yeah. a mustache? What was going on aesthetically with him okay. at the time? Because it, it's gotten, there's been some looks. Well, this is, this which, is the which best we've look. Seen. Wouldn't yeah. you rather peek at your dad's age than now? Yes. Okay, then look what you have to look forward to. What a um, dream. But you're already yes. cool. Yes. I, I can't wait when you start peeking. <laughs> Eugene had a giant afro and, um, and mustache in Godspell, right? Oh. No, bigger, way bigger. <laughs> bigger than that. Oh, way bigger. That's part wig, is isn't that it? Is that your real hair, or is that uh, a wig? That's part wig. That was my real hair. And then you went at Second City Theater. Before I got the cast, I was a waitress. And I watched you from afar. And you had that lovely Roman look. Excuse me? <laughs> oh, I kind of, it was like, what? I did, I did. I, I kind of, my hair was brushed forward. It was, I, I, call forward. It, I call it a kind of a 60s Sinatra look. In your uh, dreams. That sounds yeah. really intense. <laughs> yeah. For it everyone. Was, it was intense. Yeah. And here we are all these years later working together. No. For those yeah. out there who have not watched our show, I'm so sorry for you. Um, <laughs> but who don't know, how would you describe the show and Moira? Wow. In about 10 seconds, oh, go. Come on. Uh, um, their family who were uh, formerly really, really wealthy because of a, a, a DV, no, not even DVD, a VHS. Video. Business. Yeah. Yeah, big business. And they lost everything because of bad business manager. And they, the only thing the government leaves them with is the small town they bought as a joke. They never even went and looked at it. They bought it as a joke for their son. Correct. Earlier birthday, <laughs> teenage birthday. Never looked at it, and we, they only bought it because of the name, or Eugene, Johnny bought it because of the name of joke. So, and that's all we have, so we live in two adjoining rooms in this motel. But we um, become a family. And, and to become a family for this family is a whole new alien, beautiful, loving alien experience. I can't wait to put a little timer underneath all of this. That was way too that long. That was a beautifully encapsulated. Oh, you're kind. Well, now you have to watch it. Um, <laughs> speaking of but our it's show. Funny. I forgot to say it's funny. It is funny, yeah. fortunately. Yes, there is humor. Speaking of our show uh, and our TV family, the fourth member of the Rose family will join us yes. after this. So the audience doesn't know at this point, but before the show, we played a bit of a prank on Annie. <laughs> As one does on The Ellen Show. Mm -hmm. My question to you is, on a scale of one to your furious with us, 
Where are you right now in this moment? We're gonna talk about this after the show. <laughs> okay. <laughs> now, Annie, you're Hi. like all Hi. of us <laughs> uh, from Canada. Correct. Right? And. That's, yes, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. And here we are in like Hollywood, mm -hmm. and like the, the kind of Canadian thing is like, oh, like here we are in Hollywood, eh? Is that, but is that it, the Canadian don't tell thing? Them. Well, don't tell yeah, them. well, I just set the country back maybe, you know, 40 decades. But yeah. uh, uh, what do you think of LA and Hollywood? What's the vibe like here compared to the vibe in New Toronto? to town, getting, getting settled. I'm yeah. getting settled. You're getting settled. I'm getting settled. I'm getting, I'm getting accustomed to it. Mm -hmm. But my, I've grown a lot since my first experience here because. My first experience. Share it with everybody. I will. Um, <laughs> I was I was a young lady. I was probably 22, and hadn't been here before. Didn't know anybody, and I decided it would be for the best to go on Craigslist and live with a stranger. Um, and so I found a stranger, a perfect stranger, on Craigslist, um, and she had this beautiful apartment in West Hollywood. And I show up with all my bags. And she opens the door and she immediately says, just so you know, I am also a writer and an actor and a director and a producer. And I will be doing a film that will probably be getting funding in April. Oh no. It was January at this point. Uh -huh. And she informed me that in order to get into character, she would be playing a, an American soldier in Afghanistan. Okay. She would be <laughs> sleeping in her closet off the living room for the duration of my stay. Um, and she then escorted me over to the closet, opened the door, and there was a little cot, a little cot set up, mm -hmm. and the walls were lined, like in The Shining, with uh, post-it notes, like character notes, just all, like as far as the eye could see. I hope that this is Boy. acting as some sort of message to all of you to not do this. <laughs> um, we have been very lucky as a group. Our show started out very, very small, and now we've had uh, some wonderful award nominations. Mm. Um, Moira's favorite season is awards. <laughs> yeah. Do you now agree <laughs> <laughs> that her favorite season is awards, that your favorite season is awards? No. <laughs> <laughs> awards mean the world to everyone. Well, it was but, an exciting year for us. Uh, yeah. Last year, because we got to, we actually got to go to the Emmys, and that was I that was, that we was got great. To lose you know, at the our... Emmys, which is a yeah. wonderful thing to <laughs> do. But we did it triumphantly. <laughs> um, after this, we are all going to try to play a game, if you can imagine. Okay. That is coming up, everybody. See you soon. <laughs>